Hi, I'm Karen from Art with Karen, North Brantford Park and Rack Senior Center. And you know, outside now I see a lot of um, flowers that are all different colors. And it kind of makes me feel happy and have a nice aroma. Although I kind of miss the bees. We don't see too many bees lately to pollinate them. But we're going to bring that flower inside today and uh, see what we come up with. We're going to use our watercolor paints like we usually do but we're going to apply the paint in a very different method. Now some of the supplies you have for this particular project you have around the house. Some you will have to come to the park and rec to pick up. So let's get started. And first we're gonna get all our supplies out in the order that we need them. And we go with the toilet paper roll, which I'm sure you all have first, with the scissors. Then, of course, we have our paints and our paintbrush. Okay, so that's going to get us started. Take our toilet paper roll and our scissors, and we're going to make little cuts about an inch or so up on one of the ends of the roll. And I'm, it's you know, not, too, not too wide, not too thin. I'm going to show you about, that's about, the width that I'm going to do all the way around. So let's get cutting and you can watch me cut all the way around. Okay. See how it's coming? I'm getting there. So take your time. No more than an inch, maybe not even quite an inch long. Give you some time to get this done. There we go. I'm getting there. This will take a few minutes, but that's okay. We got a lot of time. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple more minutes to get all your cuts done. And it's going to look pretty much like this. Okay, so let's finish cutting. I know sometimes it takes longer to cut than I do. So we'll give you a little bit more time to, to, to get to this point. Okay. So are we ready? We're going to take these cuts and we're going to press them down a little bit all the way around, like so. And this becomes our paintbrush. Okay? Now we have a paper plate that's got a finish on it. I'm going to put my paint on this plate and I want to finish on it so the paint doesn't stop so into the plate. My watercolor, got my watercolors, my brush, and clean water. This is the tricky part. Okay, we are going to start with a light color to make our flower. I'm going to pick, I think I'll pick orange, light orange. Going to simply get lots of water on there and put it all over our plate. And as you see, it kind of pills on the plate, doesn't really sink in. So let's get lots of paint there with our orange. Okay, that's a good start. Our paintbrush. I'm going to dip it into the paint, turn it all around, dab it on our paper. Oops, oops, I need more paint. Didn't really come out that good. Let's get more paint on there. 
Yeah, make sure you have lots of paint because otherwise it doesn't show up that well. But we want a lot of paint. Dip it all around, get lots of paint on it. I know it's hard to see, but that's the beginning of our flower. Now, what color goes with the light orange? Mm -hmm. I think a red would be nice. I'm going to start with red. And you know what? I don't care. I'm going to put it right on top of the orange. Because they kind of blend together. There we go. Dip your paintbrush in the paint. All around. Swirl it all around. Lots of paint on there. It's starting to look more like a little bunch of petals on a flower. Now I'm going to take one more color. And I want it to be darker. This is the darkest color. How about purple? I'm going to start a new spot with the purple. So I don't want to mix red and orange with purple. So. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the paint on there. So we want lots of droplets on our our plate. Take our brush, keep it all around. Same thing, all around. Just twirl it around. Doesn't even have to be even. Look what we're getting. It's coming out. It's looking more like a flower. Hmm? Okay, not bad. I did three colors. You can do as many colors as you want. You can do different colors, even that don't go together. Like I could even put a blue on that if I wanted to. But I'm going to go with this. So we're pretty much where we want to be. Now, for another little trick of mine, a way to apply paint, is to use Q-tips. I've got three Q-tips, a piece of scotch tape. I get them even and put tape around the middle to hold them together. Oh, look at that. I have another paintbrush. <laughs> so this time I'm going to go right in the water and write in whatever color I want. And I think I'm going to go with the purple again, right into the paint. Dab it in the middle so it makes little dots. I don't know if you could see that or not with the dots. Okay. And I could even do the same thing, but little maybe little dots around the edge. Just to make it look different. Like so. Okay, got that. Everybody take their time get to this point. Well, it's looking pretty much like a flower, I think. And as you notice, I kind of put it up, not really in the middle, but up more towards one of the sides of my paper in case I want to do another one down here. And you're very well kind of a different color. So I think our flower needs a stem. So I'm going to take my marker or whatever you have, and I'm going to make a swoop with the marker, not a straight line, a swoop. It comes more like that. I think our flower might maybe use a couple of leaves. And I'm going to just draw some leaves with my marker. Coming, coming along. OK, but I think I want to paint the middle of the flower, of this leaf as well. Green, of course. There you 
go. There's your flower. And you did that yourself. Not bad. So, this is a way to uh, bring ourselves inside. I know it's a difficult time right now. And so, bring the flowers inside. Have fun. Use your imagination. And be creative. And that's it. Have fun. Hi, Karen here again from Art with Karen, North Brantford Park and Rec Senior Center. We're still going to bring some flowers inside, like we did before, to have fun and be creative with them. And we're going to create ourselves. If we make more than one, we can actually make a bouquet of flowers. And we did this lesson one other time, and it was very popular, and you all love doing it. And I'm sure there's many of you who haven't done it. So we're going to see what happens with our flowers that we're going to create. Get our supplies ready first. Most importantly is a tissue. A Kleenex, a Scotty, whatever you happen to have in your house. We can fold our tissue in half. Let's see if you can, I'm sure you can do that match up the corner so it's pretty even. Just flatten it out. No, flatten it out. Oops. Have this folded in half. Now we're going to go at the short, the long at the end here. We're going to start on this end and we're going to fold it so it looks like an accordion back and forth. Maybe about a half an inch. So it's about a half an inch so you see about that much. I'm going to fold it in again, make another fold, turn it over, fold it in again, turn it over, fold it in again. You can see how it's getting shorter. We're going to do that all the way down the entire tissue. And the last fold doesn't have to be exactly the same size. Whatever you got left, you just fold it under. So we have something that looks like an accordion, like this. Okay? We take our tissue, squeeze it in the middle, and we have a green pipe cleaner. Of course it's green. And we're going to fold it down about maybe an inch or so and twist it around so that holds the middle of our tissue together. Now you'll notice that one end of our tissue is open, but one end where we folded it in half is not. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut a wee bit off that end so that we can separate the layers of tissue. So I'll give you a minute to get to that, that point. And I'm spreading them out. Like so. Now this could be a little tough, the next part. And we have to be very careful because we're going to separate the tissue, trying not to tear it. And there should be four layers got two so far and they're going to separate again that's a little tough to get them separated okay wait a minute okay not cooperating well let's start on the other side okay let's separate this side down the same way Pull each layer down like so. Don't forget, you're going to have four layers here. The next one, pull that down. You can see how I'm pulling it apart. I'm 
I've got three, so I know there's one more left. And this is the difficult part, is actually separating these layers. Here we go. Well, that side came pretty good. You can see it's starting to look like a half of a carnation, maybe. But now we got to work on the other side that we couldn't get all the way separated. Here we go, pull it apart. And it very easily tears. Try not to tear it, but if you do, it's okay. Flowers are never perfect. One more layer. I got it. did a little tear, but it's okay. Okay, now it's starting to look kind of like a carnation to me, as you can see. But it needs some color. I don't like the white. I want it to be a color. So let's select a color. You can have purple, blue, red, orange, yellow. Whatever color you want is just fine. So we're going to take our paints again and our paintbrush clean water, wet your paintbrush with lots of water, pick a color, what should I pick? Hmm. How about purple? Get lots of paint on your brush. We're simply going to dab the ends with your brush. See how it's coming? go around the entire flower that way. All the ends, the four layers, I'm going to catch all the ends. do more than one color if you'd like. I'm going to stick with one color. You know, my granddaughter, who is eight years old, did this with me. And she put polka dots all over hers. That's what she liked with polka dots. But I, I like just to tip the edges. like a flower, a happy flower. Good job. But I think we need maybe a couple of leaves for the flower. So I'm going to take a piece of crepe paper. Look at this, green crepe paper. Twist it in the middle. We do twisting on this, like so. Get a piece of with the pipe cleaner folded down, I'm going to open it up, fold it down a little bit more, see, and I'm going to stick that fold right under there and twist again. And look what we have, something to make you feel happy. It's pretty and beautiful. You can make these with your friends, you could make these with your granddaughters if you'd like. They're pretty simple. and. You can make more than one. I happen to have another one here. Put them together, and you can make a pretty bouquet for yourself. And that's that. So stay happy. Here we go. OK. Here we are again, Karen. Art with Karen, North Brantford Park and Rec senior center. So I know it's a difficult time right now and 
we can't really go to many places, but we can stay home and we can be very creative with some of our different kinds of artwork. And that's, that's what I'd like to do with you today. Okay. I know many of us like to read inside and uh, or even if we like to be in the kitchen, we need a cookbook. We're gonna have to save our page because if we close the book, we won't know where we are when we open it up again. So we're gonna make something like this. Of course, a bookmark. We start off with our watercolor paper. This is half the size of our other paper. So we don't need too much. Oh, I need a plate. Plate. Okay, we're gonna start with our plate again. used it before, but we're going to use it again. We're just going to kind of combine our, our colors. Now watercolor you can do so many different things with. And this is not going to be anything real. This is going to be different colors all blending together to make something very nice to look at, very pleasing to the eye. So what should we start with? Ooh, make it nice and watery. Actually, I don't need the plate. And I'm going to dab it all over wherever I want to on the paper. Don't want, look at it. Just dab, 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 different colors. Lots of water. I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'll go with blue now. It's like a bluish purple. I'm going to dab some more colors. It's like a purpley color. As you can see, it's all kind of mixing together. I don't want to leave any white spots. How about some green? Oops, I got to clean my brush because I'm not getting too much good green. Okay, here we go. Here's some green. I'm going to put green in there. All mixed together. You can see how it runs together and it makes blends. until your whole paper is covered. Oh, I'm going to put any color I want. Doesn't matter. You, you're the boss. You pick what you want. It's all blending together very nicely. should I use? I think more, I think I want more yellow. use all your colors in your watercolor here. All different colors. with all different kinds of paints. And as you can see, watercolor, watery watercolor kind of blends together. That's kind of fun just to dab, dab, dab wherever you want to. And it comes out really pretty. Well, what should we do with this next? We want to do something else. Here's my little secret. I'm going to take plain old table salt, which I'm sure you have in your house, and I'm going to sprinkle everywhere, just here and there. You can see it kind of separates the paint. 
makes little dots in there. I probably can't see it from where you are, but it does. Oh, heck, let's put some pepper on it, too. Let's sprinkle some pepper on it, too. What the heck? Look what we got. Now, unfortunately, the next thing we have to do is go into part two of this project because before we can do anything, this has to dry. Just so happened that I have a dry piece right here. So you'll have to come back when yours is dry, a couple hours, maybe tomorrow, whatever. It's going to look like this. And I'm going to brush off all the salt and pepper so that it's nice and flat. We don't want those little things on there because we want it flat and smooth. So here we go. It's kind of easy to do this. Now, I have some laminates that I'm going to cover part of my paper with, which you can get here at the park and rec. And you have to fold it in half, the paper on the back, the laminate on the front. Fold it in half, like that. And then you can peel one side, like that. It takes a little bit of practice. It's okay if you don't get it quite right. There's really no rules in art. You do whatever you think. I'm going to take this piece of laminate, by the way, and I'm going to put it right down the edge of my paper. You notice I put it along the edge because I think I'm going to want to make three bookmarks out of this piece. You can, but we'll just make one right now. So it's nice and flat. We're going to take our scissors along the line where the laminate ends. Okay. You need to cut along the ends too because it doesn't quite reach all the way to the end. We got that. And you need a, a punch, a hole punch, which I happen to have right here. And I'm going to punch maybe down a half an inch in the middle of my bookmark. I have a hole. Now the last thing we have to do is take a piece of yarn, I don't know, maybe about eight inches long or whatever, fold it in half, loop it through the hole, and through the yarn again. It'll probably take a little practice to do that. Pull it tight. That's too long, so I'm going to cut some off. There we go. We have a bookmark, so you can save your place. Do we have a book over here? Let's see how it works. Made a little. I have my book. I'm halfway through it, but I have to close the book up because I have something else to do or I have to go out or whatever. So I have my handy little bookmark, save my place, close it up, and away I go. All set. Okay, that's it for today. Stay safe, have a happy day, have fun. Until we see you again, we're done. <laughs>